So people might not be coming to you with a video this time we are going to be showing you how to make the best puris ever for that you need solid surface rolling pin whole wheat flour and it has to be this malleable some dry flour that way you can roll it down and some oil so let's go step one lightly flour the work surface next you take the dough like a golf ball sized dough and roll it to a almost a perfect round circle all right once it's rolled over uh, it should be the size of a butter knife or almost the size of a butter knife about this thin to this thick and it's up to you uh, however thick you want it and as you can see mine is not perfectly round but who cares once you fry it, it's going to be perfect it's going to be delicious so now it's going to be going in a uh, hot oil preferably use a wok we have to deep fry it all right my wok's uh, ready and it has about two inches of oil how can you tell if the wok is hot or oil is hot just put a dough ball in it it should pop up right off the back this is just a small little dough what i do is i normally feed it to the birds because they need to eat too you know so let's continue by the way the recipe request for this uh, was uh, requested by uh, eugene he does do a lot of really high-tech stuff with 3d printing and he wanted me to show him how it's done all right now we're going to be dropping in the dough and there is really no wrong way to do it just drop it in as i'm doing it and be very careful so that's dropped in and as soon as you drop it in just you know try to submerge it slowly and you can hear the sizzle and look at that thing bubble that is the best feeling in the whole world and this thing is humongous and look at that uh, now it's all puffed up and this is what I do, but you don't have to do it. Once one side is done, just flip onto the other side and your puri, that's what the technical term is, is going to be ready. And here's the crisp. Uh, look at that. Just perfection in the making, if you want to call it that. One side is done. I'm going to flip it a little bit more to give it a little bit more golden color. That side is also going to require a little bit more. And that's it this is how long it takes less than 30 seconds you can stack six or seven of these and they'll be delicious so just uh, let it sit on the side so the oil can drain put it on a paper uh, so it can drain out and it'll be ready to eat and the best way to eat it is along with uh, some chickpeas these are called choles i'm going to post the recipe in the next video about this and i kid you not once you try this it's like heaven all right like comment subscribe let me know in the comments below if you need any information about this how it's done or if you'd like to see more of these videos or what do you want to see me cook next. Hi right, people, uh, like, comment, subscribe and do share. Talk to you later. Bye.